Well, you can probably tell from where I am today, I'm actually out filming on the beautiful Twyford Farm on the Warwickshire Avon. And I thought, what a great opportunity, because obviously I do a bit of river fishing, especially this time of year, sort of August, September, October. I love it. And obviously I get asked a lot, Des, what's your favorite mixes? And this is, uh, most of the ground baits I'm going to show you today of, is what I've been using over the last sort of two or three years from basically when Sonia Baits developed them. But there is a little thing that I do, and we've had a bit of rain recently, even though we are in sort of August time, we had, have, have had a bit of rain. There's a little bit more flow on the river, and I think there's a little tinge. And I know from speaking to Howard, who runs this stretch of the river, there is some skimmers around, and if you're really lucky, there's some bream. Now, whether they're going to be in this area or not, I don't know. But that's one thing that I think about when I get to the river. So whatever river I'm, I'm fishing, I get her in the morning, look at the flow, you know, look at the colour. And then that's what sort of natural fishing is about on a river sometimes. You've got to make a decision and sort of go with it. So I'm going to run you through exactly what I do now and also the ground baits that I use. Now, my favourite ground bait, it doesn't matter what I'm doing on a river really, is this black roach. It's called So Natural Black Roach. It's been about now for probably getting on for two years. Obviously, it's been designed by the team. It's on you baits, and I absolutely love it. It's just an all-rounder. It's got loads of different size hemp's in it. It's obviously non-fish meal, which all the so natural range is non-fish meal, which is, I think, when you go to rivers, unless you're going to a sort of a water with lots of big bream and you're fishing a feeder and you want to catch everything that swims, I think the non-fish meal ground baits are, are, are the best, really. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put the whole bag of that in into a bucket make sure you use a nice big bucket don't use little square tubs or anything like that because you want to mix it up make sure you put all your, take all your rubbish home with you really important now with the flow i'm not sure if you can probably see by the camera it's got a lovely bit of flow so i'm going to put just half a bag of the so natural river in now river it's a bit it's sort of not as hempy it's sort of crumb based with some other ingredients in and it's really really sticky which is obviously with the river pushing through a little bit it's going to help you put your particles in and get it down to the bottom so i'm going to put and you can vary that obviously depending on what venue you go to i'm going to put half a bag of that in they're obviously in kilo bags like that put half a bag of that in get all the rubbish out of the way again now we also do a so natural lake now on the river style where i've been fishing i use the lake all the time because it's normally really slow moving there's you know and this lake is really really active i think today i'm looking to catch better stamp fish i want to be catching like roach big roach hopefully even some pommies which are like the silver bream because this river is absolutely solid pommies and it's like my local river if it's got a little bit more flow and a little bit of color in these pommies feed, you don't hardly ever see them. And when it's got that little bit of color in, they can feed. But I just want to cancel out the lake today. With that bit of flow, little bit of tinge, I'm not going to put any in. But what I am going to put in is something called sweet skimmer. Now skimmer, it's non-fish meal again, but this has got more sort of bigger size particles in it, like biscuits and crumb. And I'm going to put half a bag of that in. Because I think if there is a few bream around, a few skimmers, it's going to give me the best chance of catching them. And that's what goes through my mind, you know, not just on rivers, but if I was fishing something like the Gloucester Canal, or the Kent Haven Canal, if I draw an area where I think there's some skimmers and some bonus fish about, then I'd be thinking about putting some sweet skimmer in. I actually fished a mat on the weekend at a place called Storton Harold, and I actually used this. And to be fair, I caught a load of roach on it as well. So it, like I said, because it's non-fish meal, I think if you go to a natural venue and you want to target some you know, better quality fish, definitely add some sweet skimmer. Now I'm only going to put half a bag of that in as well. Just to sort of, you know, get a few more particles in there. It's got a, it's got a beautiful caramel smell as well, which I think skimmers in bream love. Now, one other ingredient, when I look at the flow, you don't necessarily have to do it but I always add some soil. I think with that pace on it, I want to make me ground bait heavy. You know, when I make the balls that I'm going to cup in, or if you're going to throw in, you can make them like compact. And the nice thing about soil is, if the river's running at pace as well, which it's not really pacey today, but it has got, it's probably walking pace at least, 
you can put the soil in and it makes your ground bait break down so you can make them rock hard and the soil definitely helps break it down and obviously release whatever you decide to put in your ground bait so on there i've got two pints so i've roughly got just over two kilos of ground bait and i'm going to put two pints of soil in and you can vary that that that's mole ill that's basically off the bank riddle you just put it through a riddle like that or you can buy obviously the soils in your fishing shop but mole eel is as good as anything so i'm going to stick two points of that in really important if you can get yourself a good whisk a good drill because it just makes mixing ground bait whether it's like natural ground baits that like i'm using today or whether it's fish meal ground baits get a drill get a nice whisk like that just makes it so much simpler but obviously be careful don't get your fingers hitched up in that because it will damage your fingers so i'm going to mix that around dry first <laughs> And that's really important that you mix it first. Don't like add the water in, just make all the ingredients dry first off. And that's amazing that that sweet skimmer actually probably overpowers everything in that bucket. It's amazing that the river's got coriander in it. The black rose has got a bit of coriander, but you can smell that sweet skimmer. So you can just imagine when you're fishing for bream and skimmers on a river or natural venue, if you want something that's real powerful, a bit more particles, that's what you can use. So I got that like that. I've got my bucket of water there. Obviously there's no rule really. Obviously when I fish, when I mix fish meals up, most of the fish meals that Sonia Bait do, if you mix three pints of dry ground bait, then you can put a pint of water in and you're roughly about right. Now with this, it's a little bit more how you want it on the day. I'm going to make this a little bit sticky. So I'm going to put a pint in straight away, which I know is probably not going to be enough. And you can tell straight away it's not enough. So I'm going to put another pint in. I'm going to leave that now that's gone quite sticky quite wet but obviously that's going to dry out and the nice thing about using a drill is you probably won't even have to put it through there so i'm going to leave this 10 minutes go up you know get down there sort of bit more kit out and i'll come back and i'll show you what the finished ground bait looks like well i've now left that for about 15 minutes i'm just going to give it a quick drill now and that's what's so good about drills you know it makes it so much easier right let's have a quick look at that that's absolutely lovely now now that is actually on the damp side because i've obviously looked at the river i've looked at the flow you know and probably we will do a little bit of filming my float running through and you'll probably see how quick the river is actually running the, the warwickshire Avon is quite a fast flowing river in areas I mean, we're, at, we're, we're not far from Evesham, basically. And if anybody knows Evesham, it has got a lovely bit of flow. But it has got a little bit more on in normal because of the rain, which hopefully will make the fishing better. But there you go. I can basically give that two squeezes. That's going to go down. Whether I was going to ball it or whether I was going to cup it, it's perfect. Loads of particles in there if you want to. That's a decision you've got to make on the day. I'll probably be putting some hemp in there some a few pinkies and a few casters but there you go that's what it's all about i'm absolutely itching to get going i'm going to get back now i'll make all my ground bait up ready to cup it or wherever to ball it
Well, there you go. Just four to five hours fishing, and we've been messing around filming as well. Putting eight balls of ground bait in at the start with a few pinkies, casters, and quite a lot of hemp. I've had roach to sort of 10 or 12 ounces like that one there. I've had quite a few perch at the start, and then the roach got going. Um, we've actually seen one of the biggest perch I've ever seen in my life chase one of my roach today. God knows how big it was. I mean, Jake's head nearly come off of the cameraman today, how big it was. But there you go. It just shows you the power of ground bait running different rigs through off the bottom at the start we even had a few little chub actually today and then going down on the bottom as everything's settled and catching some better quality roach let's get them back i've had a fantastic day's fishing and i'll see you soon